Our ladies are going to come down front very carefully. At this time, we love to sing. We sing about a hundred times or better a year. We never ask for anything wherever we go. And we never expect it. And I'm going to say this to you. The one thing we do ask is prayer. This is our most favorite time of a service. Can you believe that? It's all the way at the end. But we love it. You know why we love it? Because we know when Christians get together and pray, the Lord just rejoices. I don't picture Jesus just jumping up and down, but then sometimes I do. I truly do. It's like, wow! My people love me. At this time, if you want to come down and just pray, and say, Lord, I want that joy in you this Christmas season. I want to give you equal time. Come on down and pray with these ladies. And if you don't feel like you need that, come down and pray for them. They're beat. <laughs> they have to put up with me. That's the worst part of it. They're tired. But we want to keep on singing. We have programs all the way to the December 29th, if you can imagine. Churches want us to come and still do Christmas. Come now, pray with these ladies. Pray for yourself. You may have a child that's hurting. You may have a grandchild that could care less about who Jesus is and what even Christmas is all about. Folks, we've got to tell others about the Lord. Things are happening. Things are happening. Come and pray. Come and pray. We were at that Sutherland Springs Church last Sunday night. And I'll tell you, the hardest thing in the world was is they took us into the little church where the 26 people had been shot. They wanted to share with us and show us the seats, the chairs, and the rows on the seats, and tell us all the God stories that had happened since all of that. And we did, and our heart hurt because we had sung at that church about three and a half weeks before uh, the killing took place. And our hearts were heavy, and we in 20 minutes had to be dressed and ready to get on the stage in that brand new sanctuary that's just been built for this little church. And then this past Thursday, we went over to the First Baptist Church in New Braunfels, where those 15 precious seniors were in a van and killed instantly by a young man running through a light. And we've been part of that through those funerals. You know, life is short. You think you're here for a long time and you're going to be able to see it through to the end? I'm sorry. It's not going to happen like that. It doesn't happen like that for a lot of people. A lot of people are hurting right now. They're going through Christmas season. A lot of pain. They've lost a loved one. I said goodbye to my own mother five years ago, December 21. And it's a hard time for me. It is, and you've got the same thing, all of you do. All of you have something. Someone's heard it. Come and pray now. Come and pray. Come and pray with our ladies. Don't go away without Jesus. Pastor, I'm going to ask you to come forward, if you will. Don't leave this place without the Lord today. Confess your sins and say, you know, Lord, I've just put you aside. I was going to wait till maybe I got a little bit older and when I really needed you. Doesn't work like that either. Doesn't work like that either.
Don't go away without Jesus. That's a song I sang as a little girl in Shreveport, Louisiana. Don't go away without Him. Ruth Graham, before she died, said, if, if there are tears in heaven, it's because all the blessings that were left, Christians never asked, never called on Jesus for things. We always feel like it's not important to take anything like that to Jesus. The Lord is ready to bless you. Can you imagine? All the things He wants to give you, we just don't even ask. Can you imagine what the Lord's doing right now as He listens to prayers because His name is called the name of Jesus. this Christmas season you never made a profession of faith and don't have given your heart to the Lord. Today's a great day to do that. Don't even go through Christmas without Him. It's what it's all about. It's His celebration. Not yours. Not yours. Give it all. Give it all to Jesus.
that this is a Christmas program. I'm not going to let you leave today until we sing a couple of carols. And we're going to Cracker Barrel and we're going to do it with strangers. We might as well do it with you. Okay? Let's stand together and sing. All right? Joy to the world.